Okay. So, week five of the NFL season came. It is gone. It is another insane week of NFL action. We're talking Thursday night. What in the world was that game? Kirk Cousins, 500 yards passing. The Falcons get a big win behind a relative unknown. You know, getting the big catch in overtime that goes past the Bucks defense and gets the overtime victory. Crazy stuff. But, hey, when, you know, when the Falcons needed to do what they need to do, they got it done. I mean, we're talking, we're, we're talking Kadero Hodge with the catch of the century right here. And I mean, you know, Drake May was in fine tuning. Yeah, yeah. Again, the Bucks had the opportunities to put Atlanta away, but ultimately, Atlanta was able to force overtime put this game on ice with that Hodge touchdown, and that's great. Great stuff, man. Let me tell you, Falcons are feeling pretty happy about themselves. They are tied in the division right now. And again, the NFC South, you know, before what happened on Monday, I'd say it's probably the best division in football, you know, in a way. But somebody's going to, you know, flame me for that. If anybody watches these videos, nobody usually watches these videos like that. Um, the Vikings almost gave up another lead, but again, they picked off Aaron Rodgers three times in that game. So yeah, Vikings win, stay unbeaten. Bears are looking at fine tuning. Maybe it isn't just Bryce Young that was the problem because again, the Panthers only put up 10 points. Commanders continue to roll with Jake Daniels at QB, meeting the Browns. You know, is Deshaun Watson getting benched at some point? You know, Browns organization is like, nah, none right now. Uh, the Dolphins, they beat the Patriots. It was a disgusting game. And ultimately, the Patriots are like, Drake May, you are starting in week six. You are starting, which is the insane thing to do. But I guess I guess that's what the Patriots are going to do. They're going to throw him into the fire now when he really should be developing. You know, he should be. You know, it's kind of like a freak situation, you know, in Washington right now. I don't think Drake May going out at starting is a good idea. But the Jags got their first win, though. That's nice. You know, against Joe Flacco company. That's nice. Um, the Texans, honestly, they, you know, the score is a lot closer than indicated because, I mean, really, the Texans had control of that game. Now, the ravens Bengals game, Again, I don't know how the Bengals are one and four, but they're one and four. And you know, Baltimore had a opportunity; they could not get the opportunity. Um, the Bengals had an opportunity to win it, and they missed their opportunity with the field goal attempt of their own, and thus that allowed the Ravens to go right down the field with the Derrick Henry, you know, explosion, and boom. Ravens win. The Broncos defense is probably the best in football. They absolutely destroyed the Raiders again. Devontae Adams is wanted out of Las Vegas. He's 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 just about none. I know Max Crosby, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go with him, you know, maybe. But you know, we really I really haven't I really didn't talk about it last week, you know. This time around I will, and I think you know, a lot of teams are interested. The Jets are definitely interested, you know, again. The Jets kind of forced it to Garrett Wilson like 20 times, 20 targets, 22 targets. He caught like 14 of them. And everybody else was not in sync. So maybe maybe a change of scenery for Adams will be good for him. But ultimately, it looks like Vegas isn't working out. And the Broncos, all Bo Nix has to do is his best 2015-2016 Peyton Manning brush. And that's basically all he has to do. And he might succeed, which is crazy from where we were at the beginning of the season where I said, where a lot of people were saying, oh, well, he will be the worst quarterback this year. We have seen far worse, much, much worse. I mean, Tyreek Hill has no quarterback in Miami right now for him to throw, for him to catch balls from. The Cardinals stunned the 49ers. 
going to get in the 49ers to injure the hell and back. You know, it is what it is with them. Same thing with the Rams. You know, they had to rely on guys like Tutu Atwell, you know, and it's just not enough. You know, I know Romeo Dobbs got suspended for a game. And I think, honestly, I think he, you know, wants something, you know, someplace else too because, like, you know, with the way Jordan Love has been spreading the love, so to speak, the way he's been spreading love you know, to other guys on the field and Dobbs is upset, I, I – I don't know, man. I don't know. Like again, you know, the Packers have a young roster that can do a lot of damage if need be, but you know that young roster has not realized its full potential yet. So Packers are gonna have to keep it rolling. They have to keep this one rolling. They get a big win against the Rams. You know, Rams aren't no slouch. Um, <clears throat> The Giants, I, I, I'm i sitting here absolutely perplexed that they were able to stifle Geno Smith, who has the most passing yards in the league, by the way. I was sitting here absolutely flabbergasted that they blocked the field goal, took it all the way back for a touchdown, and iced that game against the Seahawks. Like, they, that defense played a damn good game. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Like, the Giants, you would never think the Giants would be able to do something like that, but hey. When the Giants have a good game, they have a good one, and that was a good one. That was a good win for them, you know. Against Seahawks, yeah, I'm just kind of perplexed, you know. You have, you have Geno Smith, you know, kind of, you know, just not getting, you know, the offensive line just not getting off blocks and stuff like that, not making the plays when they need to be. I mean, there were multiple times, especially in that fourth quarter, you know, where. It's just like the Giants were able to overwhelm them with that young defensive line of theirs. And it's like, wow, you know, wow, how did this happen? The Cowboys, I can't explain how this happened. Um, they beat the Steelers in a game where the Steelers, you know, took the ball away three times from Dak Prescott and company. And, and yet, you know, Dowdle was able to dot them up. You know, Justin Fields couldn't do anything with that ball. You know, on offense, I mean, the Steelers had it. And they lost the lead and lost the game. And the game that was delayed by Lightning for nearly 90 minutes, too. So, making, you know, Sunday the longest day of NFL football ever in history, bro. It's crazy. But, yeah, the Steelers lose to the Cowboys in uh, one of the most head-scratching games of incompetence by both sides I think I've ever seen. And it was hell. It was it was it was heaven. It was hell. It was all in between. It was a game that happened, and I'm glad it's over. So the Cowboys move on to three and two. The Steelers are now three and two as well. The Chiefs are the only other unbeaten. Still, they beat the Saints. You know, Derek Carr gets gobsmacked. He, you know, his oblique is hurting, and you know, now it will be Spencer Rattler's. You know, turn. It will be his turn which is a wild thing to even think, but, you know, it's happening. It is indeed happening. And tomorrow night, the 49ers and the Seahawks again, you know, Brock Purdy to Brandon Ayuk has been a blessing in the skies. You know, um, Jordan Mason in the backfield. Again, the 49ers have had some chinks in their armor with that defense at times. And they were able to allow Kyler Murray to get past them. And it's just like, how are they two and three right now? It just doesn't make any sense. Seahawks could, you know, gain the upper hand in the division. It's kind of like how I said, you know, earlier that Seahawks are one of those teams to watch. They have all the weapons that they need on offense. They just, you know, there's been some games, you know, the last couple of games, last couple of weeks, you know, have not been going well for them. Uh, Bears Jags is going to open up the Sunday slate in London. Um, Jags will take two consecutive weeks. They will stay in London for two weeks to play the Bears. This week they'll play the Patriots. Next week, um, Buck Saints. You know, now that Rattler is starting, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's it's going to be a rough, rough time. Let me tell you. Um, I mean, the Bucks are looking to rebound. Saints trying to just stay alive in this thing. I mean, you know, 
it is what it is, bro. <laughs> like this game is gonna happen. Commanders Ravens is obviously the game to watch in the early window. Jaden Daniels versus Lamar Jackson. Scary Terry McLaughlin, Gary Henry. Man, the Ravens, you know, the weapons for the Ravens have been, you know, doing their thing. Isaiah Likely, Zay Flowers, they've been doing their thing on offense. Mark Andrews, defense has been no slouch either. Cards, Packers should be a game that's intriguing enough. Just crazy to say the Cards have been able to stay in games. The Packers, you know, have been able to close out games completely or kind of just, you know, been kind of put off to the wayside. Colts, Titans is a game that's going to happen. Don't care. Texans, Patriots, another game that's just going to happen. He and Drake may will be starting. And, you know, the way Jacoby Brissett was behind that offensive line for the Patriots, I have little hope that he will do any better than what Brissett was doing. Browns, Eagles, Browns are terrible. Like, it just doesn't make any sense how bad the Browns are when they have Miles Garrett still. I, I just don't get it. The Broncos, you know, I mean, that young defense, and again, there's a couple guys on that defense I didn't even know existed. That's how good that Broncos defense has been. They're taking on the Chargers this week. So that should be interesting. Steelers, Raiders is another game that should be a game that happens. You know, Aiden O'Connell had to come in, you know, for Gardner Minshew at one point because, I mean, it was just rough. Um, this is a game that's going to happen. But, you know, Panthers, Falcons is another game that's going to happen. Like Andy Dalton taking on the Falcons, you know. Pretty sure primetime Kirk will you know, put the Panthers away. Lions, Cowboys, obviously the big game of that late slate. Um, I, I'd say watch the Chargers, Broncos games and the Steelers, Raiders games too, because they are intriguing enough in their own way. I don't know why Bengals, Giants is still the Sunday night game, especially with the Bengals being one and four, the Giants being two and three. Thought they were going to be one and four, but they are not. But yeah. That's the Sunday night game. The Bills-Jets is the Monday night game. And, you know, with Robert Sala getting fired, you know, now people are going with their conspiracy theories. Oh, well, Aaron Rodgers got this guy fired. And it's like the Jets are in total turmoil right now. Like they're trying. They, they, they don't have – and, again, the Jets just do not have a consistent guy. They won't, Aaron Rodgers tried to force speed at the Garrett Wilson. When there's other receivers out there, we have Conklin being able to catch ball. We have Lazard sometimes being able to catch the ball. Mike Williams is non existent. Brees Hall, non existent in a way. You know, I, don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know what the Jets are going to do. I don't know. Don't ask me. But what I will say is we have another good slate of football this upcoming week, and it's going to be one hell of a week. I cannot wait for tomorrow night it's gonna be a good night tomorrow night so i get a week off starting tomorrow night it's gonna be beautiful the next couple days of football are just gonna be beautiful um and honestly you know probably gonna watch only two games on sunday i'm probably gonna you know skip the rest you know i don't even know if i want to watch bill's jets to be quite honest with you I think I may want to rest on Monday as well, but who knows? We'll find out when we find that out. Um, for me to you, get on about your hair, and um, I'm going to get on and try and, you know, get some scheduling stuff done and see how things go with scheduling and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. I hope you have a good rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you very, very soon with volleyball. Oh, yes. We'll be talking volleyball on Monday, so be sure to lock in and tell your friends. You know, and be sure also to listen to Big Boys Corner on multiple different platforms. You can listen to it: Spotify, Amazon, iHeartRadio, and a, and I think one other place. You know, so yeah, uh, be sure to listen to the podcast, like, share, comment, and subscribe to Big Boys Sports, and we'll talk volleyball very very soon. So take care. And another thing, indoor arena football content is indeed coming. We're going to have something very, very soon with that as well. So if you haven't seen that post, it's there. So, yeah, enjoy the week of NFL football. I'm out.